Hey guys, so today is going to be my eyebrow tutorial. Oh, oh. Um, this has actually been requested for quite a while now. Um, I just didn't feel that my eyebrows like routine was up to scratch to actually do something like this. So I've been playing around and I find something that I've liked and that I've stuck with. So I thought, why not finally give you guys what you asked for. Alright, so that's what's going to happen next. Okay, so first I'm just going to grab this spoolie and then just brush them up. So first what I do is I brush these small ones up and then I kind of take it diagonally and back down if that makes sense. So it's like up, over, down. First I'm going to go in just with an angled brush, just like this. Um, yeah, the pain is pretty bad. So I'm just going to dip it in into my matte fluid line in the shade True Brunette. And then I'm just going to carve out the bottom of my brow. I like to use something different for the front. I'm just continuing to fill in that tail so it's nice and dark. So you see how that is? I'm just going to go do that to the other side. So now what I've done, I've just wiped off that excess product just on a little makeup wipe here. And then I'm going to jump into my e.l.f. eyebrow kit and using this gel type stuff here. I'm going to use that to fill in the front of my brows. I just feel like this is a lot less full on and so it gives that natural effect at the front. So I just kind of grab it like that and then just push it back through just to get the colour on the brow and then we'll carve them out. So then I just go in and draw some little hairs. And so what I like to do now is just grab my spoolie and just um, brush it all through. It just like gets rid of excess product and just kind of spreads it out a bit more evenly. So what I like to do is just grab a bit of Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer or any concealer that you use and I just like to put some on the back here and then I'll grab my Morphe G11 brush, it's just a little bit of a thicker angled brush and I just grab some of the product and then I carve out the brow. So what I'm doing is actually just running the product just here, just to create a really sharp line. <laughs> grab my finger and just blend it out. Like, they're not completely dry now, but look how it's looking a bit more of a natural colour than like an orangey one. So when they're completely dry, it'll be cool toned. Not super cool toned, but cool enough that it doesn't look retarded. Okay, so now I'm just going in with the L'Oreal Brow Artist Pomper. And what we're going to do with that is we're just going to brush this through the brows. This will just add, because it's got little fibres in it, it's just going to add a bit more fullness to the brows and then also keep them in place. So like I said, my brows aren't perfect, but this is something I do. I quite enjoy them. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go finish the rest of my makeup so I look like I did at the beginning of the video otherwise I'm just going to walk around with massive eyebrows the whole day. Alright so I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. See ya! Artiste blah 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 angled brush because this one's just a bit thicker. What was that? I was like so far away. Anyways if only I can make my eyebrows move. And then I'm just going to drip dip it. Drip. So I'm just